Hey, it's CES 2025, and I got a chance to check out Neural Lab's AirTouch gesture control software. We've seen gesture control all over the place, Minority Report, Iron Man, um, and in real life with the Microsoft Connect, with the Apple Vision Pro, where you're pinching and gesturing to control your screen, but this doesn't require any special equipment. This is just a webcam and the software, and you can pretty much turn any screen into gesture control. I got a chance to check out the demo. I walked by and saw this cute 3D screen of a tree frog. I took 20 seconds to learn the different gestures. There were about four different gestures they taught me. A one would drop a pine cone on his head, a two would drop an acorn. Uh, if I did quiet coyote, it would turn the little leaf it was standing on. If I put my thumb up, it would turn back. The other demonstration probably wasn't as exciting, but it was probably more useful. Um, it was just a standard browser screen where I was able to use my hand as the mouse. You could move it around and pinch to select. It was a streaming site, so I was able to find something to watch, play it, pause it, all by using my pinching. There was a couple times when it didn't quite work as I expected, but after a while I got the hang of it and it was like using the screen as a tablet. I just thought it was really impressive. They said that they developed this after having trouble connecting with their parents during the pandemic who were overseas and couldn't quite figure out how to work the Zoom controls. So they wanted to make using a computer or using any screen really as easy and intuitive as using a tablet, as using a touch screen. Another application would be a surgeon in a surgery suite who can't touch things because it's a sterile environment. He can manipulate the MRI scan just by using his hands. So this software is available now. It's $300 a month for enterprises and $30 a month for individuals. It is compatible with Windows and Android systems running the recent software and Linux as well. I thought this was a really cool technology and I was impressed with the way it just worked on, on command. It took me 20 seconds to learn exactly how to use it and I think anyone could, could just dive in and use a screen very easily with just using their fingers. If you want to learn more about our on the ground coverage here at CES 2025, visit Engadget.com and be sure to like and subscribe our video and uh, we'll see you next time.